Okay, so the learning objective today is I can tell the time on an analogue clock to o'clock, half past, quarter to and quarter past. Okay, so in the learning objective today, it says that we're going to be focusing on telling the time with an analogue clock. So we're just going to think quickly about what an analogue clock is. So an analogue clock is a clock like this, and it's not a digital clock, and a digital clock is a clock like this. This uh, would a digital clock would be one that you'd see on a computer screen, for example. So that's digital. We're not focusing on digital this week. Instead, we're going to focus on analog. So clocks like this. So over the next um, few days, it would be really good if you could start to look around your house at the different clocks that you have. Uh, maybe you've got a watch, in which case if you could wear it, that would be great. And if you could just have more conversations with your family um, about the times that you're doing different things and just be a bit more aware of looking at the clock and knowing what time it is. Um, because actually this time at home is a perfect opportunity to really kind of focus in on telling the time if that's an area that you need to work on. Okay, so today we're going to focus on o'clock, half past, quarter to and quarter past. And this will be a recap of what you've already done in years one and two, so a bit of a revision. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at this analogue clock face and just looking at a few things. So first of all, you'll notice that the numbers that go round a clock start from 1 and go round to 12. Now this builds on the work that we did yesterday about the number of hours in a day and night. So you have 12 hours in the day, 12 hours in the night. So these numbers going round are our 12 hours of the day and our 12 hours of the night. So it's really important to remember that these numbers around the clock are are representing the hours. Okay, now not all clocks have these numbers that I've um, written around the edge, but it can be really helpful to have them written on. So you might want to make your own clock face actually and write on these numbers like I've done if you find that helpful. So the numbers around the edge are the minutes. So these numbers are the hours and these numbers are the minutes. And now let's just think about how, uh, how they work. So we know from our work earlier in the week that there are 60 minutes in one hour. Look what I've done here. We start at zero and we're going around in our fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And I could write 60 on there. Um, I haven't done because I think it's a little bit confusing with the zero, but really that is 60 as well. So it's 60 minutes in one hour. So when the minute hand goes round all the way, it will have gone round one hour. Now let's think about the hands. So we have a short hand, this is the shorter hand here, which is the hour hand, and we have a long hand, which is the minute hand. It's really important that you remember that the short hand is the hour hand and the long hand is the minute hand. And here's a way to remember that the hour hand is the short hand and the minute hand is the long hand. So the hour hand, well the word hour, as you can see here, is shorter than the word minute. And that can remind us that the hour hand is shorter than the minute hand. So we think of the word hour being shorter than the word minute. OK, we're now going to think about some o'clock times. So here we can see that the short hand, the hour hand, is pointing exactly to the three. And the long hand, the minute hand, is pointing up, is pointing towards the 12. But really, because it's the minute hand, it's pointing to the minutes, which are written around the edge. And this is showing that it's no, at zero minutes past three. It's exactly three o'clock. So we'd write that time as three o'clock. Let's have a look at um, a couple of other o'clock times. So here we can see the short hand, the hour hand, is pointing exactly to the five. And the long hand, the minute hand, is pointing to the 12, but really it's pointing to that zero at the top. So the time is five o'clock. And for this one, hopefully you're straight away thinking, oh look, the hour hand's pointing to the eight. The minute hand's pointing up to the, to the 12, where there's zero minutes, so it's eight o'clock. Right, we're now going to think about half past the hour times. So this clock face is still is showing eight o'clock, as you can see. But let's just think, if the minute hand, as it does, is ticking round the minutes and it goes 
halfway round the clock face, so watch as it goes, I know my hand's a little bit in the way, but if it goes halfway round the clock face, that minute hand, it will have landed pointing down at the six, but also at the 30 minutes, because half of 60 minutes is 30. And at the same time, that little hour hand should have moved over a little bit because it's now about halfway in between the eight and the nine. So we can now see that this is half past eight. The hour hand is past the eight and the minute hand has traveled halfway around the clock. So it's now pointing down to the six, but really it's pointed down to the 30 minutes because half an hour is 30 minutes. Okay, let's look at some more half past times. So what's the time here? First look at the hour hand. Think, oh, it's past the 10, so it's something past 10. Then look at the minute hand, think, oh, right, the minute hand is showing that it's gone halfway round the clock, it's pointing down to the 30 minutes. So it's 30 minutes past 10 or half past 10. So the time is half past 10. One more, let's have a look. So first look at the hour hand, hopefully you're getting the hang of this now think, oh, it's gone past the one, so it's something past one o'clock. Okay, and then how much past? So you can see that the minute hand has gone halfway round, so it's half past one. Okay, one last one, so look at the hour hand, think it's gone past the four, and then look at the minute hand, think that's halfway round, so it's half past four. So we'd write that as half past Four. Remember when you're writing the number four, it has a U in it. Okay, half past four. Now I'd like you to have a go at part one of the do it. You don't need to print the sheet off. Um, you could just write the answers out onto a blank piece of paper, write number one and then the, the time shown on the clock face. Okay, so we're now going to think about quarter past and quarter two. To start with, what I've done, as you can see here, is I divided a clock face into quarters. So let's think back to our fractions that we have already done. What's a quarter? So a quarter is when you split your whole, this is our whole, our clock face, into four equal parts. So we've got one, two, three, four equal parts that I've split our clock face into. Now you might notice now that when we do that, if you look at the minutes going round, that a quarter of 60 minutes is... 15, 2 quarters, 30, 3 quarters, 45, and then 4 quarters, the whole would be 60 minutes. Okay, what else do we notice about this? You might notice that on this side I've written past, and on this side that I've written two. This is to help us with um, the work that we do today and over the next few days. When the minute hand is in this half of the clock, so all both of those quarters... This is the past side of the clock. We would say it's something past. When the minute hand is in this half of the clock, so in either of these two quarters, we'd say it's something two. Okay, now let's start thinking about quarter past times. Okay, so now we're going to look at quarter past time. So here you can see that the clock face is showing four o'clock. And we're going to think about how to make four o'clock into quarter past four. So from four o'clock, your minute hand would start ticking and the minute hand is going to tick and it, it's going to go round quarter of the way round the clock face. So watch as it goes. Slightly challenging to do this with one hand. Quarter of the way round. There we go. Okay, so can you see that that minute hand has just travelled quarter of the way round the clock. So it is now quarter past four. You might also notice that it's gone 15 minutes round the clock. Five, ten... 15 minutes, so it's 15 minutes past four, but we'd normally call it quarter past four. So what's the time here then? Let's start by looking at what the um, hour hand's doing. It's just gone past the seven. And then think about the minute hand. Think, oh, okay, it's gone quarter of the way around the clock. It's in the past section. It's quarter past seven. And what about this one? Look at the hour hand first of all. Think, oh, it's just gone past the 11. And then think about the minute hand, you think it's gone quarter of the way round, it's in the past section, it's quarter past eleven.
and then they make a joke at this one so you can see the hour hand has just gone past the 12 and then the minute hand has gone quarter of the way round. it's in the past section it's showing quarter past 12. so we're now going to think about quarter two times um, we're going to look at this clock face first of all, and I'm going to tell you that this time is quarter to eight. So let's work out why. Well, if you look at the hour hand first of all, it's just about to be, it's quite close to the eight, isn't it? So it's something to eight. And then if you look at the minute hand, you can see that it's pointing to the nine. But really, what the minute hand is doing, it's only got quarter of a turn left whoop, before it will be eight o'clock. Can you see that? So it's just got that quarter of a turn left before it will be eight o'clock. So it's quarter two, as in quarter of a turn left, before it will be eight. Quarter to eight. Now it's the same as 15 minutes to eight, because it'll be five, ten, fifteen before it will be uh, eight o'clock. Okay, let's do an, a couple more quarter two times. So the time here, we can see the hour hand's just coming to the seven, and the minute hand is pointing to the nine because it's got quarter of an hour, quarter of a turn left before it'll be seven, so it's quarter to seven. And for this one, we can see the hour hand is just by the five, coming up to the five, and we can see the minute hand is pointing to the nine, uh, the 45 minutes, because it's got quarter of a turn before it'll be five, so it's quarter to five. And this one, we can see the hour hand is just coming up to the two, and the minute hand is pointing to the nine. It's got quarter of a turn left before it will be two. It's quarter to two. Okay, um, so what I'd like you to do now is have a go at the second part of the do it. Um, and then maybe the twist it and solve it if you have time as well.